Hey, girl, hey. On this episode of Little Angel Plans, we'll be doing a plan with me and my wellness planner, as well as me trying to answer a bunch of questions in the planner babe tag. I'm trying, y'all. I tried, okay? <laughs> I will begin, um, you know, decorating. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use to decorate and then I'm gonna start answering some of these tag, well, all of these tag questions. Um, let's see. So I wanna use the enamel stickers and this is from the Homebody collection. And the enamel stickers just mean that they're, you know, they're thicker. You can't really see it, but they're just like, like button. They pop out of the page like buttons. I'm gonna use Squaggles, the seasonal portion so i'm gonna use the spring collection they have some cute little yoga girls in here i'm gonna add since this is my wellness and fitness area i'm gonna uh, go in with botanicals if needed and then sassy plans what i plan to do for the month of april is to find something cute to put on each day um and sassy plans is just really cute and feisty and so me so that is what i'm gonna use all of that for so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I did find a tag, the Planner Babe tag. I know that I am way, way, way behind. Please do not cut my head off. Um, I went to the first person that I saw. That was like the shortest video I could find because you know you have to watch the entire video to get the questions. So I found Hearts in a Plan, which that was my first video that I've ever viewed of hers. And I really, really liked the video. I really liked her setup and just her persona on film. I'll go ahead and tag her um, in the description box or wherever you tag these people at, y'all. I don't know, because I don't normally do these types of things. I'm just trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. And this is really cute. This is happy place. Where's my happy place, y'all? Home, okay? <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna put, you know, just like I said, just apply these in different areas and then okay, let's do there. So the first question is, what bag do you carry your planner in? I carry my Skinny Classic in my Dooney purse. I do not have a planner bag to carry things in. I just don't like them, they're not, they're not that cute. Um, I have seen some like a Hobby Lobby that were like a little bit different that I kind of liked, but I'm just never sold on them. So yeah, that's what I use, I use my purse. I don't know what else y'all want me to use. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? The next question is how many planners do you use at one time? Well, I franken plan, so um, as far as franken planning goes, I don't know that I want to use any of these just yet. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, y'all. I'm gonna pause from putting any stickers on my monthly just because I do want to find some some stickers to put like on the on each day. So I'm gonna pause from just like decorating my monthly right now. And what y'all are gonna watch me do is just put like cute stuff to up to today, which is the 14th. Um, and then I'll leave everything else alone. So how many planners do you use at one time? I use three planners at one time because my classic planner is Franken planned. I do have the um, the classic, my catch all, which I will be using at this point because there's no school, there's no work. I will be using that for like household things and to keep up with King's schooling since he does have to be homeschooled right now. And then I have my wellness and fitness in the back portion. Um, so that, that's two planners. And then I use my skinny classic um, for basically like a catch-all on the go, uh, on the go catch-all. So I use three planners at one time. What is your planner routine? You know, I used to have a routine and I am trying, I'm really trying y'all to get back into a routine. My routine used to be that I planned on Sundays. Um, I did live videos on Sundays. I did whatever I needed to do planner-wise on Sundays, even like just going out and going out and, you know, getting my planner supplies. Most of the time it was on a Sunday before I planned. I would plan like Sundays at 7 p.m. So now um, Sundays don't work for me. <laughs> 
Um, so I'm trying to find a, a new routine. And that is easier said than done. Okay, easier said than done. Um, let's see the next one. What snacks do you eat while planning? None. What? Like, who y'all eat snacks while planning? Oh, I guess if you if you weren't filming, that would make sense because you know you're not filming. But I just, um no, I don't eat snacks because my hands, y'all, if you get, what kind of snacks are y'all eating that it don't get on your hands while you're planning? Like, I want to know, like, what kind of snacks should I be eating? Can somebody please comment and let your girl know? Um, let's see. What else? When did you start planning? Oof. My mom was a big planner. Yeah, my mom was a big planner, so I've been planning forever. I used to plan her doctor's appointments and stuff like that when I was as young as nine years old. Like, I have been planning. I had to, she's, she's diabetic, congested heart failure, whole bunch of other stuff, so I had to like write down whenever I gave her her medicine and stuff like that. But I began happy planning. The furthest back I can remember was like I can find a happy planner that says the year 2018 on it. So maybe January 2018 is when I got into happy planning. Um, let's see. How did you get introduced to the planner community? The planner community, whew. Um, I came across at home with Quita, at home with Kita, Quita, one of those. Um, <laughs> And she is like my favorite person to watch on any platform, really. She has YouTube, she has Instagram. And I just, I came across her one time and I was like, wow, this lady is winning. And she was, I watched her become a planner babe. And then a happy planner babe or whatever. And then I watched her move on to create create her own planners and stuff. And I just love that about her that, you know, she is just doing her thing. Like I, I freaking love that. I love this one. So at home with Quia, that's my answer. Uh, let's see the next one. Life before planning, productive or not. Well, I've, like I said, I've always planned. So I think that not planning makes me extremely unproductive. Definitely, definitely, um, like extremely unproductive. Even I can remember in school, if I planned to do my homework or certain, you know, certain things, it would just be a whole lot easier to get it done versus me just trying to just wing it. Um, so. So yeah, nope, no, not productive, not productive at all. Layout preference, what is my layout preference? It's like, I'm gonna skip that one because I need to show y'all, like, cause I don't know, I'm terrible with like remembering names of things. So, ain't nobody got time for that? Yeah. Okay, and by the way, I'm not just throwing these stickers down. I am going off of like, I'm trying to like remember what was going on that day. And so, I'm not just winging. Let's see, what's the next question? Sticker kits or create your own, your own spread? Definitely create your own spread. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of sticker kits. I'll just leave it at that. They, they are, they be cute, but they are just not. Okay, so before moving on, I did wanna show y'all because um, I passed this question up already my favorite layout is the checklist layout and i don't know why that did not come to me before um so basically it has a checklist in the middle it has a little bit of vertical uh, what is that vertical and then a little bit of the dotted so i just really like this because i mean you can do a daily checklist and then you can you have room for other things so i really like that all right so moving on 
The next question, um, most spent on planner supplies at once. I wanna say maybe in the like 150 range uh, to $200 at one time because like sometimes I'll go in a store, I'll get you know a bunch of stuff that I need and then I'll go to another store. And so it just becomes like a ripple effect because I'm going to all of these stores and I'm seeing all of these different things that I like. So about 150 to 200. All right, now uh, y'all listen, can I be honest with y'all? This, um, trying to plan and, um, answer these questions, find these stickers, like, child, all of this multitasking, it's not for me, okay? It's not for the faint of heart. And for some reason, at this moment, I am faint of heart. Um, <laughs> So yeah, there's that. Um, let's see what's the next question. Spiral disc or journal style? I'm gonna say disc. Reason being, I feel like, um, you know, the fact that you could like customize disc planners a whole lot more. Um, you could just like take out, put in, like there's so much you could do with disc planning i love that um so yeah definitely definitely disc planning let's see what else is there favorite planner supply um stickers like sticker books um i feel like you can't beat sticker books there i mean they're so diverse there's so many of them and you know, for different things, for, there's a sticker book for everything. There's a sticker book for if you have a kid, you know what I'm saying, if you're having a boy or a girl, like there's sticker books for literally everything. So definitely um, sticker books. Let's see the next question. Favorite thing to plan, meal, faith, or budget? Okay, if I have to choose between those three, what am I going with? What am I going with if I have to choose between meal, faith, and budget? Planning. I'm gonna go with meal. It's actually something that is just, it's fun to like do research and like find different recipes that you've never tried before. Um, why are these secrets so hard to get off at the top? This is, <laughs> um, so yeah, the answer is meal planning. Let's see what else we got. Funny planner stories. Do I have a funny planner story? Funny planner story. What is it? Can I come back to that one? <laughs> Let's see. Favorite planner tool. My cute tweezers that are not actually um, planner tools. That's my favorite planner tool. My cute tweezers because like, I can literally get anything on or off a page with those tweezers and I just love that. We got the month of April. Again, all right, me, I'm gonna put a cute sticker in every single day. Today is the 14th, so I'm stopping there. Then we're gonna go move on to the second week in April. And voila, that is the end of this video. And I hope you guys like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all on the next video.